All right, we made a part, and now we get to assemble it. So if I go down here, you should already have one, but I already did it. If you don't have one, um, you could just jump over here. This is what we're going to do. But I'm going to make a new one. So I'm going to go Insert New Element, and then I'm going to click on Create Assembly. So my Assembly 2 is happening down here. So we are good to go. So let's take a look real quick. We've got our tools up top again. Okay, our browser is going to be a little bit different because it's going to show um, not things that have created like sketches and extrusions. It's going to show um, how things are connected. Okay, what kind of mates are, do I have? And then um, everything else is pretty straightforward. So what do we need? A part. Let's go ahead and insert right here. And then I've got my part studio. And then I can click on part one there. And I'm going to just go ahead and click it right in the center there. Okay, we're going to come back to this. So I'm going to close it. So, <laughs> mistake, and it happens all the time. Let's go ahead and try that again. There we go. And green checkbox will <laughs> rather than escape. So, one thing to note about this is that um, if I click on it, I can move it. That's nice. But when we have just like an open space, we need to lock it down. So, this part I need to fix. I'm going to just make sure this one does not move at all. So, I'm going to right click on it. And I can choose on fix there. We could also go over to our part list over here and right click on it and fix it. And see the little icon that popped up on it? Now it will not move. So if I try to move it, you can see that icon just popped up. It's right there. Um, and that means that that part's not supposed to move. My, my cursor is an X and we fixed it. Okay. So now we can attach other parts to it. And this part won't move. Other parts will be attached to it. So let's go ahead and grab uh, some more. I'm going to grab my part studio. I'm going to put it down there once. I'm going to need three of them. And twice. And three times. Let's get them out of the way. So I brought in three because there's different ways to attach things. And we're going to show you how to do a couple of them with the mate. So, and this will help us learn about how the mate tool works. So uh, up here I've got my facet mate. I'm going to go ahead and click that and it wants mate connectors okay so and as i hover my mouse around on this now different things are happening okay and the important part i just focus on one of them is that we've got all our axes we got the blue red and green represented and so i want to just focus on one of those and i want to attach this face right here to that face we'll just start with that actually i'm going to do this face right here because i want i want this to fit a certain way what we're trying to do is get to just create a block out of this one okay and so i've got this thing fixed right here and i'm going to click on my mate tool again and notice the blue is headed out to the right okay and i highlighted it and that stayed there i clicked on it so then i want to attach it to that one right there and notice the blue is headed out to the right so we want those two blues are going to be pointing at each other and it doesn't look like anything happened, but that's because they're on top of each other. And so what I need to do is flip this over, right? And then I can start to rotate it until it fits properly. So you might have to click it a few times or jump it around to the other side and figure out how that's going to fit properly. So now you'll see that those mates are, the blue lines are actually faced towards each other and we are mated properly. So I'm going to go ahead and push the green checkbox there. So that's one way to do it. Okay, let's check out another way. If I hover over this and I go to the edge, right? And what do we want this one to look like? So we're going to have, um, oh, the backs of these two are going to be pressed up against each other. I think I did mine a little different than the original. So let's just go ahead and rotate and we'll make this one look like that one. So I'm going to get, I'm out of my mate tool already, but that's okay because I want to move this thing over here. And sometimes before I mate something, because I want this edge and that edge right there to line up, I'm going to go ahead and click on this and then I can grab these uh, circles on the outside to rotate this. And then you could type in specifically how far I want it to go 90. Okay. And we could get this thing kind of in place a little bit, but not quite just yet. So I can zoom in on this. I want this edge and that edge to line up properly. This one right here and that one. So now I'm going to push my S key shortcut and I'm going to click on the mate tool. 
And now, as I hover over this, notice those white dots in the corners. Okay, there's are different ways that I can attach things. And now pay attention to how the blue is popping up because it, look, the blue is pointing to the right. If I came from this side, the blue is pointing up. And so that'll create different kinds of mates. And maybe I don't want one of them. What I want is for this to be mated to, whoa, we zoomed it. I zoomed way out or I rotated to that one right there. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to move from this side. And then the blue is pointed to the left there. And now I'm going to come up to this edge and do the same thing. Okay. And those two are mated properly. Okay. The two blues are aligned and pointed at each other. Okay. So now, so for our last one, let's see what we're supposed to look like over here. We got to get these two faced towards each other. Okay. So um, we're going to do it. We could click right on the face like we did on the first one. So we could do that. I want to show you one other way that these things could be assembled. So I'm going to get these closer together. I'm going to get out of this tool. I'm going to move this over here a little bit. Okay. And then I, last time I rotated and it was all over the place. So I'm going to get just a bit closer. So depending on which way your view is pointed, these are actually close together, not just visually close together. All right, so this time I'm going to use my shortcut key, S, and then I'm going to click the mate tool right there. And notice I didn't go to, from the middle into the dot. I just kind of went on the line. And now the blue line is pointed uh, up, right? It's pointing along the edge, right? So rather than from here and then up to the white dot where the blue line is pointing to the right, or from here to the blue line where the blue line is pointed up, we are just going to go right to the edge of the line and the blue line is pointing up or up to the right. And so I'm going to click that one this time. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. So depending where you move your mouse and hover, where which way the blue line is going, different things are going to happen. And I want this one this time. Okay. So we're going to click that. And those are mated because they are aligned with each other. If you needed to, you can flip it over, rotate as you needed to, to be able to get that to align properly. So I started with mine initially in the wrong, so it wasn't going to match. So I, I kept going. Those are the assemblies. That's how you uh, mate objects together. And later on, we'll be talking about some of these other ones. So that is the basic and just a, a interesting way to... Uh, mate those things and I showed three different techniques. All right. Good luck with it. We'll see you later on